Hello YouTube, Patrick here with Homebred Aquatics. So today we're going over part four of breeding for profit. My number three fish to breed, pure line guppies. Now if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my top five fish to breed for profit video to kind of get a gist of this whole group of videos I'm doing. All right, so anyway, in this video, I'm gonna be going over three ways you can make money breeding pure line guppies. And if you already have guppies you're breeding, maybe not pure line, how to get the best value out of those. And if you have those, how to upgrade yourself. All right, so stay tuned till the end, and I'm gonna show you these three different ways and combine, I'm sure you're gonna learn something, and I'm sure you're going to get a little bit more value out of every bit of the guppies you have. All right, number one, that pure line thing I mentioned. Now, it seems odd to try to make a whole topic or a whole point on pure line guppies, but it is very, very important. Now, what do I mean by pure line guppies? If you're not familiar with pure line guppies, they are a strand of guppy that tried and true breed to a specific look. As you can see in this video, this was my very first group of pure line guppies absolutely gorgeous and they bred true every single time to this day i still have that original group of guppies now with pure line guppies my biggest recommendation is to get them from two different sources get them from a breeder and b breeder because you want them to be complete different lineages or from different family lines. Inbreeding is a serious thing with guppies and you get a little bit too much inbreeding and you're gonna get a lot of problems out of them. Whether that is weakened immune systems or deformities, whatever it is. Second caveat to pure line guppies is they're not something you can really get at your local Petco or PetSmart or even a lot of times your local fish store unless they're locally bred which in then you're kind of competing with your local fish stores breeder so my recommendation is find these pure line guppies online now where online one aquabid aquabid has been a huge huge website for me you can find some great pure line guppies there now my recommendation to look out for is make sure they're not just imported guppies. Sometimes it's okay, but I've found more than not, I'll get imported guppies in from they're imported and then they're quarantined and then that person ships them to me. They just don't do as well as homebred guppies. And on Aquabit, a lot of your good sellers will tell you whether or not they're locally bred. So look out for that. Number two, surprisingly not, for not, eBay. Look on eBay. eBay is not a bad site for them. Um, and you got a lot of money back guarantee in case anything happens. There's a lot of good sellers on there. And my number three, if you haven't heard of it before, the Band App. Band App is a group app where a lot of local fish breeders or a lot of fish breeders or importers will buy, in, or buy and sell fish on. It's an app based, kind of think of it like Facebook groups, um, but for buying and selling. So those are the three places I would find them for. Now, you get these from two different breeders and expect honestly to pay anywhere between 10 to $15 per guppy. It's expensive to get nice guppies, but they pay off. So, remember, pure line guppies. The stores don't want your mutt guppies. They don't want this mixed diversity. They're generally not going to pay for it. So get the quality up front. I promise you it pays off. All right, number two, selling. So I'm going to start off on the selling topic pertaining to those of you that don't have pure line guppies. Let's say you bought guppies from Petco or PetSmart or your local fish store 
and they all kind of got mixed up and muddy. They're not gross looking. They actually look really nice, but they're not a consistent lineage. I want you to take a look at it from the fistulas perspective. They now have to put these in like a bin of mixed guppies. They can't sell them as a very specific guppy. They sell them as guppies. So the price for them has to kind of go down. That means the price for you needs to go down. That means the expectations for you need to go down. My biggest recommendation here is to get store credit for them. There's nothing wrong with some good store credit, whether it's 25, 50 cent, maybe a dollar if they look nice enough get store credit for them. At the end of the day, you can buy equipment with it, you can buy other things with it. There's plenty you can do with that store credit to evolve your fish hobby or get into something new. Or sell them to somebody local for dirt cheap. Like I said, a dollar a piece to local people, you sell 25, that's your pure line pair right there. Now, for us with pure line guppies, or if you're wanting to get into pure line guppies, be realistic. Now, what do I mean by be realistic? Just because you paid $20, $30 for your pair or your trio, doesn't mean you can get $20 or $30 for your pair or for your trio. A lot of the people that have been doing that, that's all they do, is guppies, guppies, guppies. And maybe you, or maybe even I, will get to that point where I'm selling them for that much. But here's the thing about guppies. And here's the thing they might not tell you. Guppies breed a lot. I mean, we're talking a pair of guppies will turn out almost 30 babies every single month. Locally, I'm lucky to sell five to people in our local community a month. <laughs> Sometimes it's not even that. But... Fish stores sell the crap out of these. So, you have to go in with the mindset, sell for less. Because you can sell more. Because the longer you have them, the more expensive they get. I sell on my website guppies for about $5 a piece. And if you want to buy them, feel free to go on my store, check it out, and let me know. I will ship them. But, insider secret here, I generally sell my guppies to local stores for $2 to $2.50 a piece because stores need to make about three to four X profit on their investments. They have a lot more overhead than I do in my house right now. And I understand that. And you need to understand that. But at the same time, these fish stores will buy 20, 30, 40. I've had stores ask for 100 guppies of one strand at a time. And I honestly can't keep up with it. Therefore, this year I'm adding like 30 tanks to my garage, which is going to be mostly guppies for breeding. So understand what you can sell them for. And again, check out my video on top five because I give you tips on how to approach that exact topic with these fish stores. All right, so number three, multi-tank use. I don't think, even when I'm looking at some of the most experienced breeders out there, I don't think they're doing this. And I think this is where a lot of people fall short. And there's some debate to this, but in my opinion, multi-tank use. Now, what is multi-tank use? Multi-tank use is the ability to have multiple things in a tank to make profit. Now, in all of my guppy tanks, I'm breeding either A, guppies with plants, or guppies with plants and other fish like plecos and coriodorus. So I'm getting two different profitable things, sometimes three from the exact same tank. The, just the key thing here is keeping up with maintenance and making sure you're being most responsible for these tanks. But plants, 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 plants. Guppies need the coverage. 
why not do something like a Java Moss or Guppy Grass or Hornsworth or a Nacris or any other plant if you have substrate in the tank? There's no reason not to. You can grow that plant, make money from that plant, and breed the fish. The, the baby guppies want coverage anyway, so why not give them the coverage they need and make profit from it? So choose the plant that's going to make you the most profit here and go with that. I cannot stress enough multi-tank use. Please, please do it. It is the most important thing here in my opinion. All right, so I hope you learned something from this. Stay tuned because I'm going to make a video all about how to breed guppies, some tips and tricks on breeding guppies. Go over that multi-tank use stuff. Again, if you like the video, leave a like below and please go check out my other video on the top five things to breed for profit or my last video from the previous week, breeding plecos for profit. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.